Okay, so we know what a linear graph is. Um, they are straight lines, okay? And what we're going to be looking at in this video is what we mean by the gradient and how we understand that and how we can actually compare gradients of lines. So, I mean, if I just draw any two lines, so here is a line and here is a line, okay? First of all, there is a difference in the sense of where they are placed, okay? but we'll come on to that later. Really the key difference between this is that you might say, well actually this line is steeper than this one. okay? So there must be some measure of steepness that we can use to compare them, okay? compare them num numerically. That's really what we want to do. And so what we look at is the gradient of the lines, okay, which is effectively meaning the steepness, how steep the line is. So, what we can say is that, okay, well, if for every one that I go along, I go up, let's say, three, then what I would be saying is that this line has gradient 3. So m is the letter that we're going to use for gradient. So I can say m is equal to 3 in this case. And the way that we're going to be calculating it is by finding the difference in the y coordinates uh, divided by the difference in the x coordinates. So it's the y's divided by the x's. Okay? So this is equal to the difference in the y coordinates divided by the difference in the x coordinates. Okay? So, if on the other hand uh, I had this line and I measured, let's say, two along and one up, okay, then I could say, well, in this case, the gradient of this line is equal to the difference in the y's divided by the difference in the x's. Okay, so the gradient of that line could be 1 over 2, or a half. Okay, so we now have a way of comparing these numerically and being able to describe the lines by their gradient. Okay, but what we might be given, because not all lines are going to be drawn to scale, okay, I'm not going to be able to just measure uh, a length across and a measure a length upwards and then be able to find the gradient, because not all lines are going to be drawn to scale. So let's say instead, if I draw another line, let's say we know that the line goes through a point, uh, let's say, 1, 2, and it also goes through a point, uh, let's say, 3, 8, for example, okay? So what I could do is I could, knowing that, I could draw myself a little triangle, right angle triangle, so to myself, right, okay, well it's gone from the x coordinate 1 to x coordinate 3. So I have gone 2 along. And I've gone from y coordinate 2 to y coordinate 8. So that's 6 from 2 to 8. So m is equal to the difference in y divided by the difference in x. And 6 over 2 is just 3, okay? So, in this case, the gradient would be 3. So, this, in this way, you can calculate um, the gradient. Now, what is the actual uh, things that we're doing here? What actual sums are we doing? Well, the 2 has come from doing 3, take away 1. Okay, finding the difference between 1 and 3. The 6 has come from doing 8, take away 2. Okay? So, we can say that the 
gradient was actually from finding 8 take away 2 divided by 3 take away 1. Okay? So that is my sum that I'm doing here. So if I then make this more general, so let's say, get rid of that, and I get rid of that. If I make this more general and say that this point is the coordinate x1, y1, and this is the coordinate x2, y2, then this distance was actually found from doing x2 take away x1. This distance is found by doing y2 take away y1. So then you can say that the gradient of any line in general between two points is the difference in the y's, so the height of that triangle, divided by the width of that triangle. Okay, So the difference of y's divided by the difference in x's. And you will find that m, the gradient of a line, can be defined this way. Okay, So it gets to the point where you're not going to necessarily have a diagram with the line. You might just be given two coordinates. So let's say 3 minus 4 and uh, minus 1, 7, okay? And say we need to define the gradient between these two points, okay? So let's call this one x1, and that's y1, and this is x2, y2. So it's the difference between uh, the y's. So we have y2, take away y1, and it didn't matter if I put that as x1, y1, or that as x1, y1, okay? It doesn't matter which way around you call them. It wouldn't make any difference. And we've got x2, take away x1. So we've got 7 take away minus 4 is 11, okay? That becomes plus 4. And minus 1 take away 3 is minus 4. So in actual fact, the gradient of the the line that goes through these two points is minus 11 quarters. Okay, so that means that because it's negative, it is going in that direction. Okay, so going from top left to bottom right, it has a negative gradient rather than one with a positive gradient that would be going from bottom left to top right. Okay, so this is negative gradient and that is a positive gradient. Okay. So this is how we can find the gradient um, of a line that goes through two points. Okay? It's all stemming back to drawing a triangle, really, and that's how you can visualise it. But it, once you understand that, OK, it is just the difference in the y's divided by the difference in x's, uh, you'll get more used to just using um, this little formula instead.